My name is Zhao Lin. Uh, I came from China, uh, a small city called Dalian. It's a northeast city. I have been in Ireland for seven years. Uh, I love Ireland very much. My name is Roland. Uh, I'm from Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia. Uh, I'm living in Ireland for three and a half years now. The reason I came to Ireland is uh, because uh, I want to study abroad uh, and uh, also I want to get a second chance of uh, my education. Yes, I'm working in the off-license now one day in the pub, so I'm in the off-license. Uh, I'm recommending wines and just make sure that all is running well. Plus in the pub I'm responsible for the cocktails. I find the uh, Irish people is quite nice. The people are very jolly and talkative and you don't have a problem to get a conversation. For example, the first day I came to Ireland, when I uh, by taxi to my house family, uh, I don't can't talk any English at that time, but uh, the, the, the driver just talked to me very friendly. In Ireland, as I said, it, you, you have very open people and you don't have a problem to get conversations, so people in Slovakia are kind of more, more afraid to talk to strangers than people in Ireland. But if you just start to talk to them, that they might be kind of suspicious that what you want from them, that you might... Because I would say it's political histor history. And the, from cultural point of view, uh, the, the culture such as the drinking, like uh, the pop culture. I don't think that Irish people drink more than the others. I just, I would say that they are rather push it the whole amount of drink into few few sessions. I would say that it has a bigger effect because you get drunk much quicker, that's why you have those stories about drunken Irish or drunken Danish as well, for example. The Irish people, they have lost nightlife. They go out during the evening, go to pub, go to drink. But for Chinese people, we don't go out. From this part, we different. You see 70-year-old couple going out for a pint or for a glass of wine, and it's, I think it's beautiful. Some part for, uh, from Ireland I don't like. Um, when I go outside uh, during the evening, uh, some kids, they may message to you, you know. Uh, it's happened to me once uh, when I go outside and then come home, it's very late. So it's about 11 o'clock, you know, when I walk on the street. A group of kids, they uh, stand opposite the road, they show the potato to me. It's, it's very sad, but you know, it's not happy. For my future of uh, myself, you know, I have to find a job. That's my final goal. That's all about, you know, find a job that you can stay in Ireland, that you can work here. My hopes for the future probably to once have my own place to run. And uh, my dream is to get some kind of either wine bar or, or small, small cocktail bar. Finally, you have to go home. For me, I have to go home. You know, you can't stay outside your hometown all the time. I don't know if I'm going back to Slovakia, I'm not sure about staying in Ireland, so I would say that whatever happens, it would happen. So. Uh, I will go back to China, go back to my home, so everyone has to go home. Like uh, the leaf finally go to the ground, you know. That's, that's the main part of life, you know, nature life.